All right, we showed this off the top, but look at this again. A tractor trailer just cruising along Young Street slams into the Young Street Bridge in the city of Tonawana. Good evening, everyone. Luckily, no one there was hurt in this incident. But the truck and the bridge need some serious repairs. Over the past two years, at least four trucks have become stuck under the bridge. The most recent one taking place today. The bridge we're talking about is over by Kilowall Drive. Tonight, we find out what the city is doing to fix the problem and how much it could cost you, the taxpayer. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley joins us now from the base of the bridge tonight. Ed? Well, Jeff and Ashley, this train bridge on Young Street in the city of Tonawanda only has a clearance of 11 feet 6 inches. And even though it is marked, and you can see some of the signs down there, semi-tractor trailers continue to run into it and get stuck. And every time they do, this portion of street has to be shut down, which affects residents and some businesses. It's really crazy, and especially because there's so many signs kind of warning them. They still drive into it. I don't understand. It's constant. You know, sometimes you just can't fix stupid. It is an all too familiar sight. Another tractor trailer hitting and getting stuck under the Young Street Railroad overpass. The one this morning forced traffic to be diverted for several hours, meaning residents like Aubrey Bailey had to consider taking another route to work. So you have to like really loop around or try to really know your back roads to get where you have to go and hopefully be on time. It was just last week that another semi was stuck under this same bridge, an incident that was caught on surveillance camera at Rad's Fine Automotive Center. And every time they do, they have to shut our business down. City officials are frustrated. Mayor Rick Davis said trucks hit the bridge 10 to 15 times a year. And even though the city has installed 10 warning signs, the truckers continue to ignore them. We've even made those traffic signs a different color than than some of the other ones so they don't blend in. It is also costing taxpayers. Every time a truck gets stuck, police, fire and road crews have to respond. The offending truckers are ticketed and fined, but it is not enough. They don't come anywhere close to recouping the cost the city has to, sp has to spend. It is believed the truckers are blindly following GPS units and ignoring the warning signs. So it seems like that these trucking companies just don't pay attention. Lou Falsoni is a veteran truck driver from Grand Island. He said right now the trucking industry is full of inexperienced drivers who are under tremendous pressure to deliver on time or lose money and many are taking chances. Load's got to go. We'll take him. He ain't the greatest choice. We'll take him. The bridge is owned by CSX. It was not damaged this morning but the railroad is again reminding drivers to heed those warnings. Now, the City of Tonawanda Traffic and Safety Committee only meets once a month, but in March, they plan to take up this issue once again to see if they can come up with any new ideas to try to figure out how to stop the trucks from hitting the train bridge. Live in the City of Tonawanda, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Ed.